the team is made up of seven members, mostly freshmen. That's right. This team is made up of a group of kids that many are participating in robotics for their first year. We're a little team in the UP, so we didn't expect to really get as far as we got, of course. So how did this group of underdogs claim the state title? This year of, was really a learning year, and to think that we actually made the state championships in a learning year just is such a testament to how hard these guys worked. Wario says that his team may be small, but the group of innovative thinkers can accomplish just about anything. They brought in their own skill set, but I think just what they've learned throughout this short season, this short year, uh, truly amazed everybody. I mean, I'm, I'm just blown away with what they really put together. The team amazed itself with a series of wins leading up to the state title. Senior Tajad Davis says that the Copper Bots had to step it up when an allied team announced their machine was unable to perform properly. They had an air leak so they couldn't work as well as they could in the first finals match. And right before the match, our alliance captain looks at me and goes, yeah, our robot's broken. And I'm like, well, okay, this match isn't going to go too hot, but I mean, we all made up for it in the next two, so. Davis says that with that handicap, a win seemed out of the question, and although the team performed surprisingly well, she was reluctant to look at the scoreboard for verification. Did we just win that match? I was so surprised. We just lock arms and we just start jumping up and down, and we're like, we won the state championship. We're going to Worlds, and it's pretty amazing, honestly. So we won the division, and we went on to win the whole whole tournament which secured us a spot at the world's competition in detroit and i i think we're ready for it the world's competition takes place next weekend the copper bots will be leaving for that event in the middle of next week it's it's going to be tough this is the the toughest competition there is for for robotics i'm lee snitz for abc 10 and the cw5